Today, we're going to learn how to save and load your rendering presets in 3ds Max. First, let's learn how to save a preset. Imagine you have been working on a scene and you have spent some time tweaking all your render settings, like setting up the output size, adjusting the rendered limit, adding some denoising, post-processing effects, or maybe even configure some render elements. Instead of having to repeat this every time, we can save all of it as a preset. To do that, press F10 on your keyboard to open the Render Setup window. At the top, near the Common tab, you will see a drop-down menu called Preset. Click on it and choose Save Preset. Then, in the Save window, we can select where to save the preset. I'm going to leave mine in the default folder and give it a clear name like Interior High Quality. After that, click the Save button. Now, a window will show up asking which settings you want to include in the preset. Let's say you don't want to save the environment settings because each project will have a different one. You can just uncheck that option. Or maybe you only want to keep the render elements and the Corona settings. For this preset, I'm going to select all the settings and press the Save button. Now, the fun part, using the presets we just saved. Let's say we're starting fresh on a brand new project. If we open the Render Setup window again by pressing F10 on the keyboard, we can see that all the settings are the default ones. We don't have any configuration for the output size. All the render limits are set to zero. The tone mapping is the default one, and we don't have any render element. Now, instead of going through all that setup again, let's go back to the preset dropdown we used before, but this time choose Load Preset. Find the RPS file, wherever you save it, select it, and click Open. Just like before, a dialog box will open asking which settings you want to apply. You can load everything, or maybe just the parts you really need, like the denoiser or the render elements. Once you have made your choice, click Load, and right away, all those settings are applied to your new scene. If we take a quick look, you will notice the output size is already set to 35 millimeters. The scene settings have the same noise level and the denoising we saved earlier. And even the camera settings, like tone mapping, bloom and glare, are ready to go. And of course, our render elements are also loaded with the exact same configurations we had before. And that's it. Saving and loading render presets is such a simple step, but it can make your workflow a lot smoother. It keeps your project consistent and saves you from wasting time redoing the same settings over and over again. The best part is you can recreate different presets for different types of workflow. Maybe one for quick renders, another one for final quality shots, and maybe a special one for exterior scenes. Build up your library and watch your workflow get faster and more consistent. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.